I'm just going to do a quick video on how to set up the software for the Tarot Gimbal. thing I'll point out is, you know you're connected to the right COM port when this blue light comes on your serial the USB device. So when you click on open COM port here, and that blue light comes on, you know it's working. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this setting from 0 to minus 30 which means the camera angle will start tilted down so that the props don't come in shot when you're videoing so now I'll write that to flash just reset this now put a, put a switch on here to turn the gimbal off and on when I need it so that I can do all this sort of thing and if it doesn't initialize properly when you're setting it all up it uh, just makes life a bit easier when you have a gimbal and have a power switch specifically on the battery for the gimbal initialize light goes blue and now initially it goes down to pointing down The other thing I wanted to do at the comport is change the angles, maximum and minimum. I never want it to be pointing up, so maximum going up would be pointing directly up at the top of the copter, which we don't want. So I'll change it to zero. And I never want it to go past minus 90, so we'll go minus 90. So it's only going to be going to point straight down. Like that. Close it down. Go back to here and turn it off. Okay, so I've plugged in, turned on the the hex and my 7G9XR. I've programmed P2 pop to here, so now I'll turn on the, the gimbal. It should automatically go down to minus 30, which is its starting position. And the other thing that I've done is I've dialed down this pot. So you can turn it, with my hand, you can turn it a little bit and it won't actually do anything. I've dialed the, the, um, the gain down to 20 as opposed to being 100, so it doesn't have to be exactly on zero. It won't start creeping on you. So now, if we turn it all the way down, it's also going to move a lot slower, if that's the pot on maximum. So all the way down, it stops at 90 degrees, so it's not going to go past that. I'll turn it back the other way completely. Again, very slow. Just fine for the recording that I want to do. The most it should get to is level. That's the range. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. Okay, so I've changed my mind on how I want to run it. So I figure this is a better way to do it. So I'll we'll open our comport again. Goes blue. I just turn off the stick mode. If you go stick rate mode, that's how it was before. If you go stick position mode with the pot, it's much better because that means basically 
wherever the pot is relates to where the motor is going to be. So let me just turn it all on and I'll show you that. Okay, so I've got the pot set at about 20 degrees to the left of centre, which is about minus 30 degrees. I'll turn it on and it will automatically go to whatever the pot is set to. So now if I turn the pot, let me change my hand again. If I change the pot down, it will go there. If I just change it up a little bit, it'll just move up a little bit and move to wherever the pot is positioned and stay there. I much prefer that. That way you know when it's in the air, if you turn the pot to a specific position, the camera will go to there. So now if I go all the way around, it goes to level. If I go back to that 20% left of centre, always go back to that 30 degree position. That's a much nicer solution. So that's the way I'll be running it. Thanks for watching.